Good morning, everyone. This is Joseph coming to you live from Puerto Rico on vacation. I am sad this morning um, upon learning of the news of another black person being killed in their home. I really didn't want to report this story, to be honest with you, because it's getting just, it's, it's depressing to hear how we continue to be slaughtered and murdered in our own homes. This case is disturbing for the simple fact that I'm sure the Texas Police Department will try to justify um, the killing of our sister by saying that there was a gun present in the home. I don't quite understand the cowardice that comes from the police department when they kill an innocent black person. There was a gun in the home. Of course, there was a gun in her home, which is not illegal. Why are they releasing information to try and say, oh, well, there was a gun present in the home. He saw a gun laying on the sofa, looking through the window. That's to distort the facts of the case. That's to uh, 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 try to justify the officer's action. If you listen to the video, nowhere in the video do you hear the officer um, identifying himself as a police officer. When I saw the video and I saw that the door was open, why couldn't he yell in the, yell in the door, you know, hey, police, come out or knock on the door, I'm here to do a welfare check. Like, there has to be some type of protocol. It's disturbing to see that our sister has been murdered in her house in the presence of her nephew. Listen, we all know that you got some scared polices on the police department. We all know that there are some there with uh, hidden agendas. I constantly say to black people that you need to join the police force. Y'all laugh. You look at me like I'm crazy. But I feel like only black people can truly justly deal with black people. We don't have the type of fear that other people have. I know when a sister is loud that she's not, you know, wanting to do anger to me. She's just loud. Or brother, he's animated, he's uh, uh, dramatic, as I'm always called. I know that that brother is not necessarily seeking to do harm to me. They're just dramatic. Other people don't have those type of thoughts when it comes to us, and they think they're justified in their execution of us. But I won't stay on here long. It just saddens me. Uh, I don't believe nothing is going to happen to the officer as they are already trying to cover it up by stating that they see a gun, that he's seen a gun. But I want you all to understand something before I get off here. Officers are trained to shout out, stop, put your hands up, stop resisting. Although the brother or the sister is not even resisting. They may, they may actually be, uh, uh, um, you know, doing everything that the officer is asking them to do. And they are still trained to say those things so that people who cannot view what is going on can come to court and testify and say, oh, well, I heard the officer telling them to stop. I heard the officer telling them to put their hands up. And then they try to justify the shooting. So when you all are sitting on these juries, you need to take all of this into into consideration. Um. The only way I see it stopping is we start sending people to jail for murdering innocent people and we become a part of the force. You have to become a part of the solution. Sitting on Facebook mad, stomping, Facebook gangsters, Facebook black nationalists, Facebook uh, uh, advocates is not going to get it. We need black judges. We need more black attorneys. We need uh, black prosecutors who can give out justice, okay? And we need you on the jury, most importantly, to start to understand the law and the elements of the law. 
and applied the law. All right. Hey, I'm signing off. I'll be home soon. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Plugged in t-shirts are available for purchase. All proceeds will go to the production of the show.